left, down, right, up. Yeah, it doesn't roll over until seven. Why be? Why are you talking on the video? Mm -hmm. I had a really good run with the YD last night. Like, 3,000 foods. I don't know. I don't get those a lot. Can I just say, I just need to hear, like, a, a black guy with a fever coming there from the place to go a little bit further. <laughs> I just need to hear that. I need that in my life. Get too quiet. Don't you agree, guys? I don't know if you do. I don't care if you do. Whoa, should we have brought in Missouri? We should definitely talk about him more at schools. Nah. I think we talk about him a proper amount. Hey, you know that black guy in the beaver? Yeah, we heard that last year. Did you remember? Yeah. Alright, we're legally at Common Core, we gotta remind you. That's one of the tenets of common core. Yeah. Find all these dumb white kids with a black guy and a female. Probably not. You know, you're on the inside. Yeah. Bang. I never saw it. You think it would? It doesn't. Yeah, but. Now, uh, a, an airphone IRL. That is a little old. We're hearing it on any song. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Any song that's being played on a radio station has like 20 airphones on it. It does. Some of them are kind of track. Every station is hot 97. Doesn't matter where you are. In in uh, South America, it's always caliente, noventa y siete. Always. I don't want to spend it over here. I've been filling out so many job applications that are like, hey, do you know any other languages? And I can't bring myself. Can't do it. I don't want to get a job based on, oh, thank God you're fluent in Spanish. And I'd be like, yeah. Write it down. I guess I'm going to turtle time. It's trying to get excited No, I don't turtle time on that. It's not a good place. Everything I'm looking at is throwing all these goddamn peanuts in my face. Like I'm a fucking circus elephant who's sad that I gotta grab the tail of this other circus elephant. That's what he's about. The peanuts, man. The peanut life. It can't all be about the peanut life! Charlie Brown! Why was that called a peanut? Not a single peanut. Yeah, you're not there making that 3D film? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it makes me sick. You know what you said in the trailer? Good grief. So you know what that's going to bring out? All these little children are going to be good grief and all over the place like it means nothing. Right. Have you watched the new Muppet show at all? Is it good? Is I watched like one episode. Is it worth watching? It's or is it disappointing? It's, my heart can't take another disappointment. <laughs> it's like a the I don't know what I'm trying to say. The thing is, it's Miss Piggy has a late night TV show, and the, it's all it's like the background of that. Hmm. So it's all like permit like gets guests and gets things like stages and like all that crap. It's basically the Muppets are running a TV show and it's documentary style. Mm. I know you don't care for that. Mm. Like, you don't like The Office. Mm. But it's like, it wasn't that bad, but because there was one where Miss Piggy didn't want this female guest, so this one Muppet was given going out of court and she kicked him out of the golf cart. But then the Muppet came right back and was like, well, somebody's trying to give you a tour. You'd be appreciative of the tour. And she's, 
We keep trying to get her to work, and she keeps clicking on the back of her. It has its moments, but, you know, I'm really not going to work. But, I didn't know it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be, like, more like, oh, oh my god. I thought it was going to be more like skits. Yeah. Mm. But, like, Kermit did break up with his baby. She has a southern accent, it's so weird. She's like, hey, come She is a bird. Did it check out? Oh, yes. Yes, it does. I'm now stepping into the shower where I let peanut shells cleanse me. And then I'm going to go cry when the burn down Colton's restaurant will school. Pretty busy. As I'll be specific uh, schedule for your day there. Well, I was recording the message for him, so I know he's gonna watch this. You know what's funny? He's just saying, like, uh, uh, like, old tiny black man wearing, like, Sophia Town clothing with dust all over it, and he's just, like, on his knees over the Colton's one thing, and he's like, SOLMAN! EAT Wow! He's just crying so hard. He's crying. And then he goes over to the movie theater and he's like, Peanuts? Well, I gotta do it. What's money? I pay with peanuts. What do you think that expression of, I'm working with peanuts? I pay all my employees with peanuts. I'm crazy. Yeah, if I just saw a peanut and somebody's like, how many uses do you think you get? I'd be like, uh, one, it being a peanut. <laughs> and this black guy was like, 300! Yeah, I can think of another use, like, find out your enemy, and like, find out he's like, allergic to peanuts. Kill him. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, uh, peanuts, peanut butter, murder bread. Yeah, because people that are allergic to peanuts are really allergic Yeah, to it's peanuts. not like... Yeah, I can be around it, it's fine, I just can't eat it. It's a, uh, if I even get a hit. I breathe a little peanut air. If I get a little peanut air, I fuck it. My throat closes up and that sucks because I got a chap neck. And <laughs> I just die. I just, like there's that shit where some schools like don't let kids bring peanut butter. Oh, yeah. I don't think you were around here. But yeah. there is something around here. Uh, after the Oregon school shooting, I, I was talking to my mom about something about it. And Alex was like there. And I told my mom, I was like, you know, when I was in ASU Parable, we had a guy come and talk to us about what to do. You remember that? Like, what they said? Yeah. It was like, if they had a yellow hat, they were shooters. Was that in making connections? Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. They were going to teach you things you already know. But also, if you throw shit at someone with a yellow hat and a gun. If they don't have a yellow hat, they can't be a shooter. So, they had a yellow hat. But Alex was like, yeah, we have something like that. And he showed me a piece of paper that Paragould High School has a protocol for us to do. Number one was like, Shoot back. <laughs> yeah, because all the kids have guns. Uh, it was like, um... The thing was, know where the shooter is, hide. But also communicate to people where the shooter is. So you always know where the shooter is, but you're all the time. No, are you telling me to be a pussy? It sounds, yeah, it was, and it had an acronym that was Alice. I don't know what the steps were. Because I am not a pussy. The thing is, uh... Why was number one not get the fuck out of there? Because they thought that they were going to teach you not to be a pussy, but then they... They yeah. tricked you. And they hadn't taught you to be a pussy. It was like, lock the doors, come through the door with us, and I'll take you back to the But if I'm a... Even a dumb dumb knows if you try to open the door and it's locked, somebody's in there. Or it's a key lock. I'm just saying, Paragold High School has a lot of, like, exit points you can get the fuck out of here. But it was just so weird that they had like protocol. I was like, 
there's probably plenty of guns in those parking lots. And even Alex was like, we don't have to worry about guns, we just gotta worry about knives. And he was like, everyone has a knife. And I was like, yeah, they do. <laughs> they all have a knife. Every southern guy has at least a, one part of knife at all times. Because you never know when you're gonna need to go to fish. Or whittle. You know, when you need to whittle a train whistle. Out of a two by four. Kill this guy. Let's kill the guy. I killed the guy. We didn't even really put up a fight. It's kind of actually a little sad. He looked tough. Yeah. I think he really got his pants in there. I thought that pants were me. I thought I heard about the Megan that years ago. I was surprised that he was not seen it. Yeah. They want to fund the shit. Get the fuck out of my face. It's so weird because you know that's for like the parents. Yeah. It's di like no kids like, oh, I love reading the pants and oh, the comics. Man, Snoopy and Woodchuck. Or Woodstock. Woodstock. Okay, jeez. I thought you were just trying to be funny, but I don't care about it. You idiot. I didn't know the name of the fictional yellow bird. You mean one of the comic four forces in your pocket? What? What? I don't know. Roll back the tape. I was dead mentally looking at you, so I couldn't. I would love for, to hear someone come out of the pants when you go, I just love that little bird, Woodchuck. <laughs> Everyone would be like, you. I can just see a parent being like, hey, you want to go see a penis monkey? And then the kid's like, no. And the parent's like, too bad. I want to see a penis monkey. I have to do good on this one because this is our last one and I suck for like playing the game really. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do well. And the way I'm gonna do well is talking about how, like, you're a good man, Charlie Brown is not a good man. What happens to I don't know. <laughs> probably something that he, that he does bad. Yeah, so, so he has to, he has to be reminded that he's a good He probably like sexually harasses someone. Oh my god. I think that's it actually. What from the ground is just like one of those, he's a midget old man who's posing as a kid because he's bald as shit. And he's uncoordinated like an old man. And he's, he's also like a little bit retarded, so he's like, You know what we should have for Thanksgiving? Popcorn! When will I tell you to quit digging? You know, keep digging, man. Around something. The great pumpkin! His name's Lionel. Linus. Lionel Richie is a little His name is Lionel. <laughs> That's a different fucking. Okay. Oh, can you clean your own? We're trying to. We're not even trying to play football. I'm just trying to kick this guy down. Yeah, why wouldn't he just like get somebody else to play football? Why is he Why? Anytime he feels like playing. He never feels like playing football. He probably hates it. Yeah, she she probably comes up to him like, hey, you want to kick the yeah, ball? Yeah, he's not going to. He's like, right. I know what you're doing, and then she's like, no, I want to do it this time, and he's like, okay. Oh, good. Yeah, but you know, for me one time, shame on you. Yeah, he should definitely. Know. That's what I'm saying. He's an old man with Alzheimer's, and he doesn't have a, he doesn't have parents because he doesn't need them because he's a man. That's his own house. I don't have parents too. They're all old. They're orphans. Oh, man. Or their parents are polygamous, so they're never around. I mean, they only, they're only adults don't even speak English. So. Mark, 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 where, mark, mark. Fuck, where are they? You hear them at the school. No, no, no. I mean, like, what language do they speak like that? You know who speaks like that? Deaf people. So we got deaf people trying to teach kids that can hear. And... What the fuck is going on, Charles Schultz? 
Kind of last name is Schultz. I'm not to sympathize her last name. That's the kind. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to help you get your shovel in the right pot hole. I need to go to Barnes and Noble and buy one of those rectangle film books. I got like 20 years old of peanuts right now. And then while I'm there, I'm going to have to run to the Garfield. It's right there. Yeah, I mean, you're going to end up just eating Garfield. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, if I got a food, Garfield, I can. Garfield gets him. Yeah, he hates my medicine. I don't understand that. How does Heathcliff feel about Mondays? I don't fucking care. Heathcliff is too busy like fucking other cats. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's fucking other cats. 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 Yeah, he's fucking Pretty like conservative guy. Like, but what's what was his stance on the blacks? Well, they had a black group. Yeah. I don't think he ever had any dialogue at all. It was like, hey, we got one. But the idea of a person go, look, we got one in there. Stop coming at me. It's like the shake head. Yeah, that's the name of my band, actually. Neil yeah, and Joe Schultz! Every song is sick. We got so many good bands, but we should already be famous and we'll just pick one of these bands and just be dedicated to it. I am. I'm busy. That's, you know, that's a really good rumor to start. Like, like, nobody's ever going to be talking about Charles Schultz, but if they do, just be like, did you actually know? It was a neo-Nazi. It was a Nazi symbol. He actually donated money that he made from the comic strips to the Nazi party. I heard that. Yeah, totally. Somebody did it. Yeah! And saw that on BuzzFeed. I'm sure he was sick. Ten secret neo-Nazi hidden messages <laughs> in the penis cartoons that you didn't know were there from the nineties. Number seven. Yeah, thirty-seven. Oh, this is my weird number. Mm -hmm. This is going well to be a good one. Here's another though. Paul Schultz actually was from Germany. He actually grew up with. Hitler was his neighbor. Yeah, that's cool. He had, and they actually, uh, Charles Schultz tried to get him into the art school, but, you know, I actually had to kind of go there. If I'm going to be real Charles Schultz, I, mean, I don't know if he could actually draw. He could draw, like, I know he could draw one malformed one. children. Yeah, he could draw, like, one kind of person. Yeah, one kind of person. I mean, it's better than those kids who only draw anime. Right? Yes, it is. No maybe of that. <laughs> oh, that shit pisses me off so much. I hate the way that looks, dude. It's so stupid, and you can draw it in two seconds. They don't even have facial features. Oh, God. You just, you just tap into a thing. You just tap into a thing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to unlock that barrier. I was trying to protect you from it. It's, uh, okay. it's like 9% eyes, they have like a little tiny line for a nose, and their mouths are even making fucking sense. This is really legitimate. <laughs> it's just such a bad design. And you know how much of there, there is? No. Do, I need, do we need to take you to DeviantArt to get? No, because it's what it is. Exactly. It's like, hey, do you want to see an animated version of Charlie Brown? And it's like, oh god, it exists and I don't want to find that. Oh. And it's like, I hate anime, but I have no problem with I have no problem with Charles Schultz. And that's just like circles for eyes. It's like, it's a simpler design and it's just what it is. Stuff. Okay. Right. Think about Snoopy dancing. 
Have you ever seen an anime character dance like that? There's techno, there's lots of lights going on. So no. No, it means no. Exactly. So, get on it. No, it's not. Can I see a Snoopy Gundam? Thank you for good. Or, or, instead of making like, what is it for powering his bolt on? Yeah, make his work. Yeah. Snoopy. I am Snoopy's leg. I am Snoopy's nose. I'm Woodstock. I'm his shoulder. Okay, well, uh, well, you got it wrong. Oh, oh, oh! Those dodges. Yeah, I don't know what the correlation between fucking stupid emo kids and then drawing anime shit everywhere. They feel like they need something that. They can be called talented. It's an office! No, don't tell me. I don't think they're talented. I'm just trying to let you in their brain state, dog. I'm trying to get you those sick brain Oh, that's... Yeah, we're the announcer Charles Schultz, and this is covering your own sick brain legs. This is our single anime episode. Well, this is the anime episode. And that's so good, because you know all their other little emo friends are like, you're so good at it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of freaks. That's actually what the anime is on the stage are called. Really? Yeah, the little fish guys are freaks. The explodey guys are like, explodey freaks, and then the big guy is rhino freak. Very pretty. Oh, oh, okay. oh shit. I, mean, I have strong spirit, but if I get hit again, I'm pretty much hit. <laughs> well, if I were to do an anime convention, I would do this one. It might be me, but it's probably something. Yo, did you ever hear about that the guy who was like one of the Pokemon villages and had like guns and shit on him? Yeah, like this year. Who the fuck kills people with a lot of Enough to go to the next one. What the fuck? Well, that was my good one. Oh, <sighs>